Hello everyone, Pinder Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to code in Minecraft Pi. It's only going to be a short video, uh, but just to show that this is a legitimate version of Minecraft, I'm moving around a bit here, and I'm going to go and place a block somewhere. You can see that it is a snow biome that I'm in. I built a house on here, not a particularly amazing house, uh, but you can see I'm selecting a block and then placing it there. So you can see the inventory here and that there these are all the blocks it's not a um, fully fledged out version of minecraft i think they stopped supporting this quite a while ago so that it doesn't receive any updates but it's cool to be able to code in a version of minecraft so if i tab out of the game now and go down to the menu bar at the bottom and i click on the raspberry icon after making this window smaller so if i go down to the raspberry pi icon here and go to programming uh, Python 3 is how you will code this and then once that opens I'll file and open then I want to go to my documents folder so I'll move it over and go to documents uh, by the way this is running Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi so this version of Minecraft comes free with Raspbian and there we go there's the document I made so this is my uh, Python file and then if I run this module it will open up a new window and you get the chat box hello world and then it places you in the sky you fall it places a block and then again in the chat box it play it play is boom so that is the end of the code and if i go back to the code uh after going to minecraft so yeah the, there you can see the block spawned in that wasn't there earlier and if i go back to python i'm going to close this window and you can see the code so it we import minecraft using this line of text up here and then i also import time uh... on the line below so you can see the mc create that's how you get minecraft in and you're able to control minecraft uh... with this import time i'm able to do these time delays here so it doesn't all happen at once uh... so that the block uh... that appears isn't just in the sky and that it's actually on the ground once you've fallen so this is the line that lets you post to the chat box that's what created the hello world then this gets your player position uh, the xyz equals mc dot player and then mc dot player set position x y plus a hundred so you're a hundred blocks higher than you are currently and then z the same so you put plus or minus for it for whichever way you want I suppose you could go minus three blocks and you'd appear inside the house um, and then again you get your players position and you set a block at your players position so uh, that's it and then the one is the identification of the block I don't know any other block identifications and then finally we have the final post to chat so if you want to uh, do different blocks like a block of gold you'll need the other um, <coughs> uh, identification for the blocks uh, you can place more complicated block structures I'm just running the program here again uh, you can see how it's running and then the block uh, well there's already a block there so I don't know if it placed another one no just one there okay so um, that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like comment below subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you next time bye